Hey there, let's dive into a cosmic journey to one of our closest neighbors in the solar system, Venus. Often called Earth's twin, Venus is an incredibly fascinating planet full of surprising and unique features. Venus holds the position as the second planet from the Sun, orbiting at a cozy distance of about 108 million kilometers. That's roughly 70% of the distance between Earth and the Sun. Imagine the journey. It takes Venus about 224 Earth days to complete one full orbit around the Sun, which is shorter than a year on Earth. But here's a twist. Venus spins on its axis so slowly that it takes about 243 Earth days to complete just one rotation. Yes, you heard that right. On Venus, a day is longer than a year. It's as if you're on a track running slower than you're moving forward, making every sunrise and sunset a monumental event. If you were standing on Venus, you'd have to wait nearly 243 Earth days just to see the sunrise. Imagine starting your day and having your morning stretch on for 5841 Earth days. That's a lot of time to enjoy breakfast. And lunch? Well, that would come about 12151 Earth days after breakfast. Dinner is even further away, making each meal feel like an epoch. The sun rises in the west and sets in the east, taking 243 Earth days to make that journey across the sky. This means a single Venusian day feels like an eternity compared to our quick 24-hour cycle here on Earth. Venus spins at a leisurely pace of about 6.5 km at h, similar to a brisk walk for us. In contrast, Earth's equator whizzes around at roughly 600 km h. But the real kicker is that Venus spins in the opposite direction of most planets in our solar system. This retrograde rotation causes the Sun to rise in the west and set in the east, quite the opposite of what we're used to. Venus's orbit is nearly a perfect circle, which is quite rare among planets. Its journey brings it close to Earth every 584 days, a period known as the Synodic Period. This close approach is the reason Venus shines so brightly in our sky, sometimes even earning it the title of Morning Star or Evening Star. The atmosphere of Venus is a thick soup of carbon dioxide, with clouds of sulfuric acid swirling around. The atmospheric pressure on Venus is a crushing 90 times greater than on Earth, equivalent to being 900 meters underwater. This thick atmosphere traps heat through a runaway greenhouse effect, causing surface temperatures to soar to around 460 degrees C. That's hot enough to melt lead. Venus's clouds reflect about 60% of the sunlight that hits them, making the planet incredibly bright. However, this also means that little sunlight actually reaches the surface. The thick clouds are mostly made of sulfuric acid, not water vapor as scientists initially thought. These acidic clouds create a highly reflective layer that makes Venus visible even during the day if you know where to look. Long ago, Venus might have been much more Earth-like with oceans and a more temperate climate. But over time, as the planet heated up, its water evaporated, contributing to the thick atmosphere and intense greenhouse effect we see today. This transformation left Venus as the hottest planet in our solar system, even hotter than Mercury, which is closer to the Sun. The surface of Venus is a volcanic wonderland, with around 80% of it covered in smooth volcanic plains. There are also two large highland areas, Ishtar Terra and Aphrodite Terra, named after goddesses of love and beauty. Ishtar Terra, located near the North Pole, houses the planet's tallest mountain, Maxwell Montes, which towers 11 km above the surrounding terrain. That's taller than Mount Everest. Aphrodite Terra is near the equator and is slightly larger than Ishtar Terra. This region is covered in rift valleys and fault lines, indicating a history of significant geological activity. Venus boasts more volcanoes than Earth, including some massive ones over 100 km across. However, unlike Earth, Venus doesn't have tectonic plates. Its crust doesn't shift and recycle like ours does, which means that volcanic activity is less about plate movement and more about the planet's internal heat slowly escaping. One of the mysteries of Venus is its lack of a significant magnetic field. On Earth, our magnetic field is generated by the movement of molten iron in our planet's outer core. Venus, however, doesn't seem to have the same level of internal activity, possibly because its internal heat isn't released through tectonic processes. As a result, Venus doesn't have the kind of protective magnetic field that Earth enjoys. The thick atmosphere of Venus acts like a protective blanket, preventing small meteoroids from reaching the surface. 
Only large ones make it through, which is why Venus has fewer small craters compared to places like the Moon or Mars. From Earth, Venus is one of the brightest objects in the sky, easily visible to the naked eye. It's so bright that it can sometimes be seen during the day. Because Venus is closer to the Sun than Earth, it never strays far from the Sun's vicinity. This is why we often see it either in the early morning or evening sky. Venus goes through phases much like the Moon, showing us a full range from a tiny crescent to a full disk. When it's closest to Earth, it appears brightest despite being in a crescent phase because it's nearest to us. When it's on the far side of the Sun, it appears smaller and dimmer, even though it's full. Every 120 years or so, Venus transits across the face of the Sun in pairs about eight years apart. The last pair of these rare events happened in 2004 and 2012. These transits have historically been important for astronomers, helping them measure the distance between the Earth and the Sun accurately, known as the Astronomical Unit AU. One of the most intriguing mysteries of Venus is the so-called Ashen Light, a faint glow observed on the night side of the planet when it's in a crescent phase. Some speculate this could be caused by lightning or other atmospheric phenomena, but it might just be an optical illusion caused by the brightness of the crescent itself. Venus is a world of extremes from its scorching temperatures and crushing pressures to its slow rotation and lack of magnetic field. Despite being similar in size and composition to Earth, Venus couldn't be more different in terms of its environment. This makes it a fascinating object of study and a reminder of how diverse planets can be, even within our own solar system. So whether you're an aspiring astronomer or just a curious soul, Venus offers a treasure trove of mysteries waiting to be explored. Keep your eyes on the sky and who knows, maybe one day we'll unlock all the secrets of this fiery planet.